how to add anyone's character to your Roblox game. Hi there everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn how to add anyone's character to our Roblox game. Let's go ahead and go to the Roblox homepage and click on create. Click on store, plugins. We're gonna search for load character. You have two options here. The first option here is gonna cost you $5. We're going to go for the free one here, so click on Load Character Lite. It is made by Already Pro. Now click Get Plugin. This item has been added to your inventory. Click Open in Studio. Under Inventory, select My Plugins. You should see Load Character there. Just click on that and click Install. Your plugin has been installed. You can go ahead and close this window. Now go and click on plugins up here. You should see load character on the menu bar here. Just click on load character. With this plugin, you can import anyone's character into your game. Let's take for example, I'm gonna import myself into this game. So I'm gonna look for price counter puncher. And there it is. That is me. I'm going to spawn in an R15. Okay. Now, let's say if I want to import another person in, I can just put their names in here. For example, I'm going to import test skill. Test skill. And spawn in an R15. How about if I import test skill 6-7? Test skill 6, 7, spawn in an R15. How about if I import my friend, the iGamer? So I'm gonna go iGamer, spawn in an R15. Actually, I'm not sure if this one is my friend or not, because my friend is iGamer, the so this is another person spawned in an R15. I don't see it. Try again. That doesn't work. So there's no nobody there. So I gave her the developer. Developer. And spawned in an R15. Alright. Once you're done, you can go ahead and close this plugin. And you can place these characters anywhere you want in your game. And now let's play test and take a look. And there you have it guys. That is how you add all the characters into your game. Let's say if you want to remove the names over their heads, what you want to do is you want to go to the workspace and look for those characters. For example, here is the iGamer, the developer. I'm going to go to his humanoid object and I'm gonna search for a property called display distance type instead of viewer I'm gonna select none and if you want to remove the names for everybody you gotta do the same thing for everybody okay so I did it for everybody let's play test again and take a look and now I spawn in you can see I'm in the game and those are all the characters that I have imported into the game, but they do not have the name tag over themselves. So there you have it, guys. That is how you bring anyone's character into your game. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.